The idea of achieving ever greater speeds has fascinated engineers, scientists and the public for decades. When Major William Knight piloted the X-15 rocket-powered experimental airplane in 1967, it reached a maximum speed of 4520 miles per hour, or 6.7 times the speed of sound. The SR-72 Dark Star hypersonic fighter jet is capable of flying at a maximum speed of Mach 10. Although fictional, the aircraft is reminiscent of the Lockheed Martin SR-71, which set the speed record for a human jet aircraft at Mach 3.2 or 2455 miles per hour in the 1960s. Based on reports, China showed off their new aircraft, MD-22, which is capable of operating in hypersonic conditions. The platform is believed to be the test vehicle for China's hypersonic technology, and the MD-22 is considered the test vehicle for the near-space hypersonic technology being tested and improved by China. The goal of the British effort was to create a hypersonic engine that could become the basis for a reconnaissance or fighter aircraft. The Oxfordshire-based group is part of a UK-led military project that aims to realize hypersonic flight by creating autonomous aircraft capable of flying at Mach 5 or 5 times the speed of sound, which is 3,800 miles per hour. Several months ago, the potential design of a single-engine hypersonic concept vehicle that could be as large as a Hawk trainer jet was revealed by a team consisting of engine manufacturer Aero, the Royal Air Force, and Defense Research Organization, DSDL. They intend to launch a demonstration vehicle by the middle of this decade. The UK should speed up their efforts in this regard. The main goal of this British project is to build a cheap and reusable hypersonic vehicle. The system will rely heavily on Reaction Engine's revolutionary pre-cooling heat exchange, originally designed for spacewalks at hypersonic speeds. The internal temperature of a typical gas turbine will start to melt the components unless they are cooled down within a second and a half. The company's thermal cooler can drop the temperature of compressed air by up to 1000 degrees Celsius in an instant, from that temperature back down to room temperature. This innovation will be included in the Rolls-Royce gas turbine engine. While it is too early to speculate on the proper use of this British initiative, the question is whether it will strengthen the country's defense capabilities across the Atlantic. The company is also testing their pre-cooling technology through a project supported by the United States Air Force Research Laboratory. Reaction Engines has the necessary resources and expertise and has conducted significant trials of their technology. BA Systems, Rolls-Royce, Boeing and asset management firm Bailey Gifford are among the company's long-term investors. The United States, Russia and China are developing hypersonic missiles, making them as difficult to track and stop as conventional ballistic missiles. Meanwhile, the United States Air Force has awarded Lados a contract to create a new hypersonic aerial vehicle in their secret program called Mayhem. This experimental concept aims to demonstrate the ability to carry multiple payloads to enable attack and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions, and possibly lead to an operational platform. The Air Force Research Laboratory has awarded a contract for a sum of $334 million to Lados in the Delivery Contract or Unlimited Amount program. In 2020, Mayhem Facts first emerged linking the program to the separate development of an improved high-speed jet engine. The program is focused on creating a larger class air-breathing hypersonic system capable of accomplishing multiple missions with a standard payload interface, thereby providing significant technological enhancements and future capabilities. The system will use a scramjet engine to generate thrust and propel the vehicle at speeds in excess of Mach 5 over long distances. Work is scheduled for completion on October 15, 
2028 at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, and at a selection of prospective test sites. The Mayhem system will most likely be a single-engine hypersonic unmanned aircraft fed by large air ducts under the fuselage. Thank you. Now that the Air Force has awarded the official contract to Mayhem, it will be interesting to learn more about the LIDO program and design that might eventually lead to an operational hypersonic attack and ISR aircraft. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos.